Hey everybody, my name is Devor. I'm the owner and founder of Tennis House and I have Micah Babel with me. Uh, Micah was a former 27 on the WTA Tour, amazing player and a very good friend of mine. And we, we uh, did the Tennis House Conference. So every year we have a Tennis House Conference and we're right now in Covington, Louisiana. And Emilio was here, Emilio Sanchez, Alistair McCall, Richard Woodruff, so great lineup, way more. Uh, amazing speakers and Mike and I decided to pair up and do some great videos uh, today. So we're going to talk about the surf and how to coil on the surf and how to use all those great things to improve your surf. Well, talk about the coil. That was definitely one thing that was not really taught when I was little. There was what we called in German and he understands it because divorce speaks perfect German, which is awesome. Bogenspannung. That is the one word that I remember, but there is an issue with it because what most people understand is that they just push their left hip out if you're a right-hander. You do see the hip coming out, but that is because you are loading into your back leg. And we're not just going to tell you what to do, we're also going to show you a couple of drills. And one more point, Micah, I would like to add, which is very important because we do that since a long time. And if you just push your hip out, what is important, it's a big re uh, risk factor of injury. Because when you load into your legs, there's a lot of force that goes into it. So if you just push the, leg, the hips out and you load into your legs, that can be on the long run, not as good for your hip as you would like to be. And one more thing, since we're right here, we have a drone up there. That's why you're gonna get the footage this way and you're gonna get the, the eagle eye view so you can see the coil uh, in the video. All right, so I'm gonna show you how I was taught and then we're actually going to fix my serve. So I was taught to be pretty much straight on, sideways, yes, but that's really difficult to get this turn, this coil. So one super easy fix is that you just stagger your feet a lot more and immediately I feel when I'm turning here I'm feeling a stretch everywhere and it might feel a little weird in the beginning but if I could do my serve again I would actually choose to start it this way because I feel like I have more control to dip into my legs here so we we're also going to talk about pinpoint and platform and one thing that I'm now thinking about, I probably would have done better with the platform because there's just a lot less things to worry about and the rhythm to worry about. So I'm just gonna give it a go with a couple of platform serves. Great. And then one I'm not sure if I'm coming off the court, but. Oh, no, it looked great, Micah. One more thing, could you go into the platform one more? So when Mike is in the platform stance, right? And that's a, that's a good harmony we have. I have a lot of juniors, she has a lot of adults. So when kids like to do crazy things and they do a lot and too much most of the times on the court. So if you have the platform, Mike has a great base already. So the kids or the, or the beginner adults or whoever you are, there's less to mess up, so you, it's important to have a stable base because if the base is not good, then the rest is going to crumble. So you have a great base and good balance. I just wanted to point that out because I think that is very important because when you do the pinpoint, you're going to slide and drag your right foot to the left foot and then you're going to have to have uh, advanced uh, feel for and, um, and body for, for holding that position. It's not so easy when you have when you have when you're sliding in here this is not easy to hold it so for kids especially and beginner players i would say you know that that's that can be challenging but teaching for a long time now you know you have always players that can do it and they can manage it right so you always have players that will come out and they were going to slide in and they're going to hit that serve and do everything perfect right so you always have to see and that's important i think in our job that doesn't matter who is coming to you there will always be players that get it quickly like the same with the back and volley right like a lot of players are weaker on the back and side and then you see a lot of coaches teaching the back and volley with two hands but you know 
I like to try it first with one hand because there are a lot of players that can still manage it, right? And the same on the serve. Look what they do and then adjust to that. Yeah, and I agree. I mean, you don't want to force anything on somebody if they already have a certain skill set coming in. There's always ways to tweak it. And for instance, I am open to changing my serve. I played 10 years on tour. Probably as I played, I would have looked at you, you want to change my serve? But now, one of the major reasons actually is to prevent injury. And I had to retire because of injury. And here's one reason, perhaps, that worked into or against me. Can I have a ball? So one thing that I'm seeing with a, um, a pinpoint stand is that it's very easy to pull your right foot basically parallel to the baseline. And what that does is you're opening up too early as you're hitting and that puts a lot of strain on your shoulder. So it's difficult to get footage from me when I played. I don't want to say that facilitated my shoulder injuries, but for me personally, platform stance is easier to stay sideways longer. All right, so now we want to give you each one tip, talking about the coil, how you can uh, improve things and how you can do things better. So let's start uh, what I saw online, what I really like, you can do it several ways. So when, when I'm standing to serve, how I make sure that I, when I get up here, how I make sure I coil and load is like the ball. Someone, if you have someone that can stand back there. You or can use have a the chair. Or use a chair or use a taller cone and put the cone under. And then you can tell the players just to rotate in the back leg and throw the ball up. And make sure that when you do that, I'm not going to throw the next one. When they, when they come down here and load into the back leg, that they throw the ball up because when you, as you all know, the serve motion, we're going to, it's an upward motion, we hit up, so it's not like throwing the ball forward, that is very important. So when you load into the back leg and then you can go up. And you can do that with the medicine ball, you can do that like later on to work on hitting, tossing it up. There are different variations of what you can do. He almost took out the drone. <laughs> I'm glad it didn't fall down. That would have cost me a lot of money there. All right, Michael, what is the next tip? And maybe I can take the grab the camera for this one to show you a better view. Yeah. Like I do with stripes, that's perfect. So you want to line up the camera directly behind you and you're just going to hit a couple of balls. And if you don't see your stripes here moving, then you're probably not coiling quite enough. Now it always depends on how mobile you are, how flexible you are, but top servers like Ash Barty, for instance, Karolina Pliskova on the men's side, the most, I think, perfect server of all times, Pete Sampras, they have about 20, 25 degrees of rotation. I doubt that I get into that much, but I do think that you see these stripes turning a little bit. So that is one way to work on that. Michael, with the drone, can you show that again? So with the drone being up there, so now you guys from the top, you have that view, you see how she called her upper body, right? So you can see that. And like Michael used her stripes, I like to work with the belly button again as well. So if it points to the side again, you know you, you were calling. That's a perfect position to create more power and have a better surf. 